So after almost a week of not uploading anything to my channel, I am back with some of the Legend of Pirates Online. So if you guys didn't know, the reason why I had to step away and take a bit of a break here on YouTube and from recording and all that is because I got my wisdom teeth out last Wednesday. It is now technically Tuesday, just past midnight, and uh... You, you may be able to tell throughout this short session that uh, it, it, it's kind of difficult for me to speak. My jaw is still a little bit fucked, but because of how fucked my jaw was due to all four of my wisdom teeth being pulled, in, being pulled out, and one of them <laughs> was a fun one, so definitely some, uh, definitely not damage, but some pain, it uh, caused me to have to step away. But I am now back. And I'm pretty happy to be back. This is also a bit of a test because I have no idea if I should even be doing this. And I can explain all that later, but the point is, I'm back after having to be away for a while. My wisdom teeth are out. This is not where I need to be. Uh, boy, oh boy. But um, last time here in the Legend of Pirates Online, I don't think we did anything too special. Just more of the questing. We finished the Hollowed Woods. And I got six hours of two times experience, which is pretty damn cool. And I actually used that. I played some of Talapo during my downtime. I'm level 28. Uh, Cannoneering is almost level 15. I just got my sailing on level 15. We're actually going to go buy a ship right now. Uh, sword, I think I think that was already on like level 18 or 19. I just leveled it up. Uh... The gun, level 15, which is insane. What a boost that was. I think it was like level 7 or 8 uh, before. Uh, level 20 is where the dagger is, which I think it was already like that. Uh, level 10 for the grenade, I didn't really train that. And level 14 for the doll. The doll was uh, pretty easy, and I think I already started training that. But the point is, is that I really did get started on the grind I did that while I recovered uh, I really helped pass the time it wasn't the funnest thing to do but it definitely helped pass the time I will be honest wearing my headset right now is very uncomfortable because it presses right against my cheeks and don't get the wrong idea from that that kind of hurts um, but yeah this is gonna be a short session just one episode we'll get uh, we'll get on with the quests uh, and I'll at least get a video out there for you guys uh, for some reason, it looks like the recording is getting a little bottlenecked right now. I'll have to look at that after we're done talking to this ugly looking fellow. Fine work, mate. Now they are out of the way. I can get back to smuggling. Or, uh, I meant to say, important and exporting, eh? Here be the key as promised. And we go back to Gilladoga. Yeah, for some reason the recording is looking a little, uh... A little throttled. I will have to look at that, but it should not affect the recording at all. I, I think the recording should be fine. What I mean that it's being throttled, or bottlenecked actually, is that the video FPS is much higher than what is actually being recorded. Well, actually, nope. Now it's all the same. Alright, well, maybe nothing's the problem. Maybe it's just this game. But it puts my heart at ease. But um, I'm going to keep my talking to... I guess I can't technically keep it to a minimum, but I'm going to try to keep my voice volume leveled and not be a little loud. Uh, but I will talk about my experience getting my wisdom teeth out in this episode, so if you're if you're down for that, then perfect. This is the episode for you. But I can at least say that getting your wisdom teeth out is as terrible as it sounds. There is absolutely no doubt. And if I had to do it again... Which obviously I, I can't, it's not possible, but I guess teeth extraction in general, I would not want to do it. It is a very painful deal uh, if you don't go under the, uh, the laughing gas or uh, sort of anesthetics that they give you. But everything after that is painful, trust me. Gilladoga. We gave him a key. Good, good. Let's try this key, and ah, this is not the one. Keep trying, mate. I guess we're going to Rico. And I think that's the other bar here on the island. No, actually, the procedure went well, which I'm really happy about. Um, 
I actually kind of slept through it. I was conscious for bits and pieces, but I was pretty much just lying there with my eyes closed as they were going away. And I can actually, like, hear them kind of hammering on the teeth, sort of. That That's the best way I can explain it. I can kind of feel it because when you hammer something, there's a vibration uh, that goes around. There's, like, that sound. So, I, I, I guess I sort of kind of felt it even so I was completely drugged out. But the procedure itself would pretty well. Uh, I slept through the majority of it. And after that... I wasn't in pain, just discomfort. It was, it was very uncomfortable being in the position that I was in because I literally got four of my teeth pulled out of my mouth. And then night hit. And then I started to... Oh, okay. Just making sure the game's not freezing here. That's when I really started to feel that pain. And then I fucked up. But I'll talk about that in a second. I, I do know, but it will cost you. I don't even know what the story is at this point. Return to me with a sea chest from an ogre-class ship, and I will tell you. Wow, we are... We're going high. Alright, I guess we'll try that. Um, yeah, so, nighttime hit, and I thought I was still pretty okay, because I had some of that Norco in me. I saw the drugs in me, keeping me away from that extreme pain. And I wasn't bleeding anymore, which was also good. I didn't have to have those gauzes in the backs of my mouth. But then I fucked up. I thought, oh, I'm fine. I can just go about business as usual and try to stay up with the buds and talk about whatever. But that was a mistake. And again, I will, I will, I will, <laughs> I will resume talking about it. Sorry, my, uh, my... I don't know what you can call it, my throat? The back of my mouth? I, I don't know what that is. It keeps on poking at me, so I gotta be careful. Alright, we're gonna purchase a ship. And I've given it some thought. We're gonna go for a war sloop. Sort of because that's all I really have the money for, as you guys can clearly see. But I've been piloting a war sloop uh, for a while, and I kind of like it. Uh, we will go with the Wind Jammer... Uh, let's see, the Wind Jammer Lion, that sounds ridiculous, so we'll definitely go for that, um, alright, we'll go find an ogre, I have no idea where an ogre is, uh, but I'm sure that if I just sail around for 10 minutes, I'm bound to find something that looks like it, and it not be the actual thing I'm trying to find. But because I was talking a lot, the, f the first night after the procedure, uh, as I was lying in bed, trying to go to sleep, actually, I think, uh, I noticed that I was... Oh man, this is a good-looking ship. I noticed that I was bleeding. And I thought, oh, if it's not a lot of blood, maybe it'll just stop. It turned out to be a lot of blood. And it would not stop. And I was swallowing it. It was terrible. I I could not handle it anymore. So I ran downstairs. And I I think I took some... What did I do? I know I, I stuffed gauze in my mouth. I took some pills. Whether it was Norco or the big ass ibuprofen pills that they gave me. Which are lifesavers by the way. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I guess I'll go this way. Turn right here. Um, but I put gauze in my mouth. I was trying to stop the bleeding. And I took the gauze out, uh, like 15, 20 minutes later to see how things were going. And blood was just pouring out of my mouth. And it was terrible. Then, like, I, I was standing there in the bathroom. And I, I could start to, to, I was starting to lose feeling in my legs. And I was starting to pass out. Which is a terrible feeling because I, I felt it before. It is absolutely scary coming to the point of almost passing out. Not completely passing out. I know that's scary too, but I don't know what that feels like. No, but uh, it definitely was not a fun experience. I definitely got the bleeding soft with some gauze that I put in there. And uh, I, I never bled again. I didn't... I, well, I guess the next morning I sort of bled a little bit more on the left, but... Eventually it stopped, all was good, and I was not exactly happy, but 
back to neutral status and I I don't think I talked for the rest of the day and I just communicated uh, I think with my phone like I think I typed everything I wanted to say to like my my mom or my dad or whoever who was around me that I needed help with something definitely had to be cared for there was no doubt but uh shit am I getting shot at what the fuck okay maybe I should google where this thing is but I don't know I mean so far things have been pretty all right um this is again sort of an experiment to see if I can even talk properly because I'm I'm usually sort of slurring my words and barely opening my mouth to speak so this is a bit of a change uh, just like with how I'm starting to eat more solid foods it's also fun but regardless I'm glad to be uh, I, I guess away from the condition that I was in, uh, I, I, I'm still not fully recovered, so don't expect a, a lot more videos after this one, but I'm definitely getting there, and if this video doesn't fuck me in the ass with how much I'm talking, then all should be well, and I should be able to recover very soon. So it says here on the wiki that these bitches are uh, around Padres, but we didn't find one there. And they're also around Congrejos, which is where we're heading. So, let us go. And there is an EITC ogre, exactly where the wiki said there'd be one. That's actually pretty interesting that we were able to get some luck there. So, this will be our first battle with the, uh, with the war sloop here. And I've gotten a little bit better at, uh, I guess, sailing. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. Basically, I'm going to, uh, not dance with them, technically, anymore. I, I guess that's not what this is. Uh, I, I just have to stay, I guess, in front of the enemy. I may not work with this sort of guy because he's not fast enough, but... No, I think this will work. Yeah, so I have to just angle myself in front of him. Oh, there's another ogre right there, huh. I have to angle myself in front of him, and every time he starts to turn his uh, his broadside towards me, I need to go straight to avoid all that shit, and all shall be well. Hopefully. And there we go, and look at all that XP. I still have like two hours left on my, uh, on my two times XP. I just wanted to get a recording session in. So think about that for, I would say about three and a half hours. There's a lot of time where I was just standing around not doing anything. I was just grinding, man. I really, uh... I, I, I want to say I definitely made some progress. And I, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, especially after having a lot of things low-leveled and sort of off-balanced. I think this is pretty good. Uh, because, like I said, it, it, it might be more difficult later down the line to try and... Uh, to level those things up if I'm so high leveled with everything else. Or at least that's what I believe. Whatever. Rico. What is up? That's the one, many thanks. Now for my end of the bargain. Go see the gypsy Pelagia. Or Pelagia. She'll know more about the key. You got it, I guess. Just running all over the damn place is... As usual, nothing's changed. Well, I guess Polygia, or whatever the fuck her name is, is not exactly that far away from where we were, so... No worries. What the fuck? Is this guy talking to me? Oh shit, yeah he is. Who the fuck is this guy? Who is this man? Uh... Do you know where Fort Dundee is? We'll just tell him that he has to cross this bridge. And and he'll get there. There you guys go. Helping someone out. Just some random. Just just some oh god, this person looks disgusting. Uh yeah, just helping out the other pirates. I know of this key of which you speak. What does it mean to you? If what you say is true, I'll help you if ye will help me, eh? Ah, of course. Of course. I will help you. To the catacombs we go.
I want to know what's kind of uh, interesting is that I'm almost on level 30. I uh, know I'm still on 28. 29 comes after 28 and before 30. But at level 30, uh, it's worth noting, that is when we get the Voodoo Staff task or quest line. Which is going to be fun, I guess. F fun in italics. Uh, or quotes. It, it, yeah, definitely not italics. Sorry, guys. Uh, where is my brain today? But yeah, Voodoo Staff. I'm looking forward to the weapon. Uh, I mean, I've, I've heard it's quite powerful and all that. And I have no idea how to use it. I've never had the opportunity to. And so I'd like to, but uh, the the quest line for it is <laughs> definitely going to be something. Uh, all right, I guess I'll start with slashers. What else do we need? We are thirty one percent done with Giladoga. I want to say that that is accurate, but I don't know if I can anymore. All right, yeah, I'll start with these slashers. Fuck, I accidentally. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll just give me more sword XP. All right, yeah, I'll do all this. So in the interest of time, I'll do a nice jump cut to the end of all this. All right, I believe I got all the skeleton things that uh, Pelagia, or whatever the, however the fuck you say her name, got all the skeleton parts that she wanted. I switched the gun for these guys because I've got the hex shot, and that shit does some damage, trust me. It's, it's unbelievable how much damage that can do, especially to those gypsies. It could render them useless. It's, it's quite frightening. It really is. Okay, Pelagia. Now what? Good, you've gathered all my ingredients, including the pinky rings from those undead scum. Take the rings to Rico, my new sweetheart. I'll tell you the location of the key. Got it. Well, back to Rico, I guess. Alright, now what do we do? Pinky rings from me love, or from my love, they are so beautiful. I want to eat tears of joy. The key, yes, I'll tell you what I know if you do a small job, or a jobs for me. Recover a gem from a buried treasure chest. Well, that's not hard. We can literally just walk outside and all should be well. It's probably going to have us do more, though. That's how this game goes. Uh, but we will be ending it here in a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is enough for an episode. Maybe, more, maybe it's more than enough. I don't know. But, uh... Again, I definitely have a takeaway from this uh, this recording session. So that this is very tiring. And I don't know if my jaw is uh, ready to handle all this talking again. Because this definitely is a lot. And it's sort of killing me. That's actually why I have cut down on the amount of talking I'm doing here. I just have these cuts going on. So I can't talk that much anymore. <laughs> My jaw hurts. Or it doesn't hurt, it's just... it's. I'm, I feel exhausted. I'm sorry about that. But this... Th like I said in the beginning, this this sort of was a trial run to see like where I'm at. And I guess uh, I have a takeaway. And I, I never mentioned that Wednesday I'm getting the stitches in my mouth removed. And I will talk with my dentist to see exactly... You know, where do I have to go from here? How am I, Jim? Colored glass, really, but it was me prized possession when I was a lad. The key? Yes, uh, I need yet another favor, mate, before I tell you what I know. Can't leave me post, so recover some money I lost, eh? Of course. Of course we're gonna have to go and play blackjack for this fucker. Yes, we'll put it all in. <laughs> I know this is way more than we need to do. Come on, dude. I'm the master at blackjack. Come on. Fuck. Completely forget what I just said. I'm clearly not the master at blackjack. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that, that, was, that was a warm-up. It was just to get you guys on your toes. Look at this shit. How can I lose? I could technically split this, but I don't need to. We'll stay. There's no way the dealer is going to get a 21. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna lose my shit if he actually got a 21. Alright. Back to Rico. That was easy. Or at least I'd say it was easy. Alright. 
You are handy with the cards. Thanks. Now listen closely. I have it on me person. I do. Take it to the Gilladoga and don't tarry or someone may steal it, Savvy. And you got it. I feel like I'm starting to slur my words. I am really sorry, guys. I don't know how much further I can go with this. I'm just waiting for a quest that I can't handle to come up. And we'll uh, end it there. So far, nothing has come up. This is just going to end up being a long episode. My jaw is going to end up falling off. Which is not lovely at all. Gilladoga, here's yet another fucking key. Find work, mate, and insert the key, and nope. Drat. Sorry, mate. Back to the grind, eh? Yep. Always do champs. He's right here. He's right here. Of course I have the key. And of course you can't just have it. Of course. Tell you what you can have. Small task. A scurvy navy man I bested in poker ran off without paying me. Maroon the scab and returned me money. Or my money. That'd be the key to getting your key. Funny, eh? No, it's always funny with you. So a navy man of war. Well, I'm out of time. I'm going to go rest my face. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Pirates Online, please leave a like. I'll get back to the daily grind and everything very soon. I just really need to rest. And I did not expect to be out as long as I was. Did not expect any of this. I really, <laughs> I really should have put up like a week's worth of videos instead of just two days like I actually did. Whoops. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thanks for the support and everything. I know that a lot of you have been sending some support on my uh, community tab here on the channel and also on Discord. It means a lot. I'll get better very soon. Uh, I feel like uh, I'll be completely recovered very shortly. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>